Five. Michael, two checks. Michael, five checks. It's no check like that. Michael, three checks. I'm digitally giving money to the bank. Are you getting no. cash? Where's the bank? It is. Where is the bank? The question. There I don't is no bank. Well, the conversation starts off talking about money, and then you say there's no bank. <laughs> That doesn't really look good, does it now? But also on top of that, let's just go back a second. Angela wants to know if this money's going somewhere online. Obviously, she wants to know because if anything, she would like to have her own fair share of the money. Why wouldn't she? But this is one of those very interesting situations because you see, throughout the seasons, it's been reported that Angela has never given Michael any of the money that they have got from the show. That the money that they have gotten from the show, she's used it for her own benefits when it comes to her own surgeries, et cetera, et cetera. So some may say that, you know what, should Michael give Angela any money that he's earning from this potential business? No, because at the end of the day, she's never given him any back anyway. Despite the fact that she stopped this man from having jobs, so therefore she could fund the things that he needed. And from what I understand, that was pretty much the bare minimum. It makes you wonder. But this is the thing though, isn't it, when it comes to Michael and Angela, there's going to be a lot of things that Michael has done wrong. But then at the same time, there's a lot of things that Angela has done. That some may argue and say that they would count to what Michael did. But some may say, nah, 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 nah. Despite what Angela did, what Michael's done is far worse. Well, let's get into it. So how are you? Any emergency expenses. It is what we do in Africa, in Nigeria. Bank is common in Nigeria. A lot of people do it, both rich and poor. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on a minute. All right, boom. I had to quickly research this thing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, to be fair, I asked my Nigerian friends, but they're working right now, so yeah. Then again, back to So I decided to Google it a little bit. It's something did call called Piggy Piggy Vents, Piggy Vest. And it does say that it is money that you put in the bank account that you cannot touch. It's money that 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 grows over time. So Michael isn't necessarily lying about this whole piggy bank situation. Anyway, let's get let's get into it. <laughs> because I save, I right. keep money there right. for rainy days. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes. What about my rainy days? You got a piggy. And just not lying though. What about her rainy days? But the thing is though, based on my research is though, I believe it's money that you can't actually touch. It says here that you can uh, you can stop spending excessively and put away and grow funds that you do not want to touch. Oh yes, what yeah, I see that you do not want to touch. You can choose to save little amounts of money uh, period periodically, if I can say the black like word, daily, weekly, or monthly towards a specific target or lock away funds for a specific period of time. So yeah, it is money that definitely can be touched at some point. You know what I'm saying? So he's not lying about it. It is something that is true. Whether or not he really has one is a different is a different type of conversation. But uh, either way, though, I just got a point. What about my rainy day? <laughs> but then we could argue and say that she didn't deserve one because she's the one that's been withholding money from him for years. You know what I'm saying? And this, this, this is the thing. The problem is that no matter what Michael does, Angela's done something else that pretty much counters it. But I guess it comes down to the end of who's done, who has done the worst. I would say so far, based on what we've seen here, right now, if you ask me, it's tick for tack and they are toe for toe. But hey, let's continue. So what about my rainy days? You got a piggy bank, so you know how to get this money when you get over there and you got enough no, money no, no, kick no, you no, got, no, 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 I can't use it over there. Now that I find very hard to believe. Money is international, okay? Money can be accessed anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Man could take that money out before he even leaves to go to the States. You see what I'm saying? So that is something in particular. Maybe he can't put the money or save money once he's away from the country. Um, or maybe he can't take the money out if he's no longer in the country. Maybe he has to be in Nigeria to be able to take the money out. But either way, though, to say that he can't use it, that's nonsense. But anyway, we continue. Oh no God. business that opening behind your wife's back. I, I am your wife. Right. You I understand. don't give a You could explain it to me. Andrew's not lying, though. You don't open up a bank account. You don't set up a private business and start earning money without your wife knowing. That's crazy. That's criminal. That is called that you don't trust your wife, which we all know you don't trust your wife. <laughs> <laughs> so really and truly she's not lying about it obviously when it comes to the grand scheme of things but again it goes back to why would michael do this without telling angela these things one would say it's because of her behavior the way she's always been the way she's never really shared the money that they get from the show based on obviously the reports 
or two many others may say the reason why he hasn't shared the money he hasn't told about the money is simply because well he's been scamming it this whole goddamn time it really depends on what perspective you want to look at it you know what i'm saying now listen here's the thing it's easy to say that he was it's easy to say it's because he's scamming her but also at the same time it's also easy to say it's because he's afraid to tell her because she's always so money hungry so the question is then which one is it but we continue paradise man let's check this mother out no you're, you're a don't paradise man you son of a bitch when i look at the name paradise man right there is giving me a what the hell if that looks like they're scamming people from the u.s with for women in a man's paradise for visas this is business helping me you mother I'm going to lie to you, when I first heard the name Paradise Men, I didn't even think about the whole group of scamming and da 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 I thought something completely different. Panky, spanky, spanky, panky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, to be honest with you. But anyway, Angela, as you see, obviously gets aggressive as per usual and chucks drink all over Michael. But now let's get into where, to be honest with you, what we're about to see next, there is no defending Michael, to be honest with you. And regardless of how Angela has behaved, there's no defending it because this next bit here really has nothing to do with Angela. This is all freaking on Michael. That's man group is because, you know, you're going to the US, land of free, you know, like the US is a paradise. Nonsense. What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> Talk about a weak justification. Look, there she is. Look. Look at that. She, they look for husband. A whole group here, from what I understand, a group of Nigerian men seeking white American women. For what purpose? Mm-hmm. What the f Looking for a husband, and they joke about, this woman here needs a husband, yo. So he's an administrator to a chat that, that's a bunch of money. Michael's involved in a money ring. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as saying money ring personally, but I can see where she's coming with. But let's just get the definition of money ring, you know what I'm saying? Because to be honest with you, the way she said that, she said that so freaking casually as if like boom, boom, boom. So let's have a look here. Uh, oh no, sorry, this is giving me something completely different. It's actually telling me about rings that involve money. Like, yeah, it's not actually giving the definition of money ring, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, as far as I'm concerned though, I wouldn't go as far as saying that. Ew, no, definitely no. Wait, let's have a look here. Money coin rings. Nope, 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 nope. I think she's maybe used the wrong. Yeah, I think she's used the wrong term, to be honest with you. See with that, or maybe Google doesn't recognize what she's talking about. But to be honest with you, based on what I think she means by the whole money ring situation, I don't really think it's like that. Maybe it is like that. But listen, at the end of the day, like I said before, right now, there's nothing that anybody can say, in my opinion, that can defend Michael's actions from based on what we are seeing. That's a bunch of money. That goddamn horror ring. This is goddamn crazy. Who is goddamn pictures? What is, what is the life insurance and how do you use it? Life insurance? Is this bitch playing on killing me? Of course, Angela will be that dramatic. Come on, humble yourself. Humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but let's have a listen to this voice note. So I also uploaded the tax on They know my personal business! Woo! You can scam me for every thing! He scammed a random person my I mean, listen, to be honest with you, this whole, you know, giving it talking about Angela's returns from 2022, yeah, that's not looking good. That's not looking good to the slightest. So listen, it really comes down to what perspective we, we want to go we want to go by, what perspective that we want to use. I mean, at the end of the day, I wouldn't sit here and say to you that what Michael is doing is something that anybody deserves to be done to them. Absolutely not. Because the thing that I found that there was two different type of conversations in this video here. The first one was Angela obviously finding out that Michael has something going on that's bringing in money and of course like i said before despite the fact that he didn't let her know about it she has no leg to stand on because she hasn't let it be fair financially anyway but then the second part is now to see that he's in a cahoots with so many other nigerian men i think what it, i think she said there was over like 200 men in that flipping chat and they're all pretty much uh you know um courting scouting scouting white american women now that that <sighs> That is crazy. That is absolutely absurd. And the fact that Michael is the administrator is even more wild. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's uh, the creator. Because I know on, on groups, you can obviously add different people to be to, to, to be the admin anyway. But uh, <laughs> the, the fact is, it's funny because I tell you what's so crazy about this. Literally yesterday, 
I saw Michael post a video or, or, or pictures, sorry, of him in his new freaking clothes. You know what I mean? With the with the with the Air Forces or no 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 the the, the dunk I think it was of his hat looking all dapper dapper. You know what I mean? Man looking like mm. and I even saw another video of him in his kitchen. I was like, his kitchen's looking good. What the hell is going on here? Man is living that life. Where's all this money coming from? But to be honest with you, <laughs> based on what I'm seeing on social media, then seeing what happened on this episode. Very interesting, but I will say this though, and I will say this, and this is not in any way defending Michael to the slides because at the end of the day, what he's doing is absolutely wrong based on what we have seen. But I do wonder though, if the storyline that they have gone with, because here's the thing, originally it was reported by myself that uh, Angelo Michael was meant to be a part of 90 Day Fiance from episode three, but because my, Angelo went completely nuts on social media, well, there was reports of them then, then being removed from the show. And Angela was being penalized, but then they decided to keep them on the show, but to obviously minimize their screen time, which is why we didn't see them until halfway through the season. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't, and, and also with that being said, now also it was also reported that, that the editing team, the production team also had to do different type of edits for their storyline. So I wouldn't be surprised when, if when Angela was having these meetings with the, with TLC or Shop and Team, whatever, if she was saying that you better make my storyline look like, like I'm make me look like a, a victim for once. I wouldn't be surprised if they made sure that this time when they edited edited the storyline, they definitely put in all the bad things that Michael was doing and less of what Angela was doing. Because to be honest with you, this is a very different look to what we're used to anyway. Again, um I don't defend Michael as a slice, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't be surprised if the storyline is now based the way it's been based because of Angela. But to be honest with you, does it make it wrong for it to be based this way? Absolutely not, because to be honest with you, the activities that I've now seen from Michael's phone, I mean, these are things that definitely need to be exposed. You see what I'm saying? Because it is not fair if there are women in this world who are being targeted by men who want to use them to get in the country. I wouldn't be surprised if they even had a U UK version of that, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if other people from other countries who use others to get into countries have the same freaking groups. But at the end of the day, it is absolutely wrong. It's absolutely disgusting. And the fact that money is even being made from it as well is even more criminal. Like, what the hell? The fact that he's making money out of it. Is that taxpayer payers money? You know what I'm saying? Because if that money isn't being, isn't being taxed, you can be putting yourself in a very sticky situation. Do you see what I'm saying? So really and truly, <laughs> I'm glad that this, this this has happened because it only exposes the world of scammers. That's the world of people who use others. Do you see what I'm saying? But hey, with that being said, though, let me know your thoughts and your opinions and we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.